Welcome back everyone. So for the next stop, we're going to go to Core by Claire Smith. She used to work for Gordon Ramsay for a very, very long time. And if you're talking about the best restaurant in Britain, this is it. Top 50 restaurants, like she, she's the real deal. So super excited to, to eat here and let's, let's get into it. Just a beautiful outside to welcome you. And I'm super, super, super excited. So they actually gave me some books to read, which was awesome. Because they knew I'd be interested. We have some sourdough here, cultured butter. It's real rustic, very, very old fashioned, but great way to start my meal off. Some still water as well. Beautiful setup. So we have the mousse bouche to start. Real, real beautiful appetizers, but my favorite by far was this lemon pepper smoked wing. I mean, lemon thyme, beautiful. So next we have assortment of, of crab, variations of different crab. So we have a crab consomme, steamed crab, crab sauvignon, and a crab salad topped with some, some caviar. A little bit. No worries. <laughs> when people filming is always when something wrong is going on. <laughs> Using these beautiful spoons so it doesn't affect the taste of the caviar because it's so expensive you don't want to ever use metal. But I mean this this dish was definitely one of my favorites. I was pumped. <laughs> I, I was super excited. Sabiona is just sitting beautifully on top. A nice sheet of gelatin on top of the steamed crab. Beautiful silverware, right? Well, not silver, huh? But beautiful pearlware. Look at that. Little scoop. Here next, we have variations of sun choke and hard choke. This is definitely, once again, one of my favorites. You have almond, malt, beautiful tart. Sun chokes, I mean, this is what I thought of it. Delicious. Just killed it. Sea bass and clams. With a little bit of a love it oil. The fish was cooked perfect. I mean, this, 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 every course was a hit, to be honest. You know, like everything was great. I like the pairing of the, the clams and the fish. I, th I thought it was great. Next, we have the cheese and onion. So very, very classic um, British flavors here. Caramelized onion, consomme, if you will. We have some puffed cheese rinds. The bread on the side is a brioche. A uh, bun that's, that's marbled with onion marmalade as well. So just different variations of onion. And I mean, everything was, it was, I can't, I can't choose. I can't choose which one was my favorite or not. I mean, every, every course just kept getting better almost. But I really enjoyed how she were able, she was able to pair her, her original flavors with, with technique. And this is the brioche bun, a little salt on top. It's laminated with the onion marmalade, so it not only is it rolled in, but it's also brushed on top, and it's a little sweet, and it's great. A little scene of the ambiance. I was able to read, kind of enjoy, just taking the full ambiance, which is a beautiful, beautiful setup. It, it feels as if you're you're being welcomed into uh, Claire's, Claire's house, almost. Next, we have the beef and oyster. 
so these, these flavors and then we have a side of like the braised the braised beef there as well with a little oyster crisp toppings of oyster some sea beans in there but for me you know it's it's a play on like you know sea and I just loved it so much I just can't I, I, it was interesting you know you think of you think of uh you know your Chinese restaurant right and you get your little oyster sauce but you know the, the saltiness from the oyster and then you have your beautiful cooked piece of wagyu here I mean look at the details of the cracker huh and then the flavors that she's using is all classic uh you know English flavors as if you're eating like a shepherd pie almost and it was really it was really interesting The combination of land and sea for me is one of my favorites. And, and then you finish it off with a little bit of a Guinness and a beef sauce. But look at this cracker, huh? I love the details, the crisp. And it's actually made with, with some of the uh, oyster shucking juice. I mean, delicious. Killed it. You have the carrot, as he calls it. But, like, it, it's so beautiful. I don't even really want to bite into it. But, of course, I got to bite into it, right? So onion sorbet and then we have not onion excuse me a carrot sorbet and uh, uh, look at that just do so sick and look at this plate i mean this is called the court teaser but like chocolate creme look at the chocolate feathers on there but i mean the plate for me I, before i could even eat it i was just like stunned by the plate super duper light you hear that? That crunch? And you just get in there and just, oof. And finish the meal off with some Petit Fours. Really, really beautiful. But look at that. Uh -huh. look, at, look at the chocolate just, just, just coming down. I mean, whew. Man. I'm, I'm so blessed. Beautiful, beautiful London. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. This was Simple Cooking with Sakari. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.